types of flow meters and their industrial applications. A flow meters is a device that measures the flow rate of a fluid. They are flow measuring instrument used to measure the linear, non-linear, mass or volumetric flow of a gas or a liquid. Flow meters are known as flow gauges or flow measurement instruments. There are two broad types of flow meters widely used in industries. They are volumetric flow meters and mass flow meters. Volumetric flow meters got their name because these flow meters measure the fluid volume passing through a specific location in a set period of time. They provide instantaneous analog, digital or pulse output of the volumetric flow rate of the liquid or gas. Various types of volumetric flow rates are available. They are differential head type, electromagnetic flow meters, ultrasonic flow meters, turbine flow meters, vortex flow meters, and positive displacement meters. Mass flow meters. These flow meters measure the mass flow rate that travels through a tube per unit of time. There are two types of mass flow meters. Coriolis mass flow meters. Thermal mass flow meters. A brief description of these various types of flow meters, their application, advantages and disadvantages. A differential head type, also known as differential pressure flow meters, is the most common types of flow meters that is used to measure the flow of fluid through the pipes. In this type of flow meter, the flow measurement is done by measuring the pressure drop over an inserted obstruction in the flow. The operation of this type of flow meters is related to the Bernoulli equation. In this type, the pressure drop and the measured signal is a function of the flow speed. Different types of differential head type flow meter include orifice meter plates, venturi meters, anuba and rotameter etc. Orifice meter plates. There are two types of orifice plates. Concentric orifice plates which is the most commonly used and segmented, eccentric orifice plates which is used for fluids containing suspended solids. Advantages of orifices plates. They are easily installed between flanges. The fabrication is simple and inexpensive. No limitations on the material of construction liner size and flow rate. Disadvantages of orifices meter plates. High permanent pressure loss and hence high energy consumption to overcome pressure loss. Impractical for systems with low static pressure. Subject to damage by water, hammer and foreign objects. Venturi meters. A venturi tube measures flow rates by constructing fluids and measuring a different pressure drop. In the upstream cone of the venturimeter, velocity is increased, the pressure is decreased. Pressure in the upstream cone is utilized to measure the rate of flow through the instrument. Advantages of venturi meters. Lower head losses than orifice plate, reducing the capital expenditure or pumping equipment. It can be used for extreme temperature. No process interruption for the exchange of DP transmitter. Disadvantages of Venturi meters. Highly expensive. They are larger and heavier to handle compared to others. Anubar flow meters. This is a device to measure the fluid flow, liquid, vapor or gas, in a pipeline. The flow is measured by creating a differential pressure. The Anubar flow meters measures the differential pressure which is then converted to flow rate using a secondary device. The probe is installed in the media line as a pressure sensor with the flow. The probes records both the static and the dynamic pressure via the probe openings. In the minus chamber of the anubar, lying on the opposite sides, only the static pressure has any effect. The differential pressure corresponds to the dynamic pressure in the pipeline, and the flow can is calculated directly. Advantages of anubar flow meter allows direct mounting of DP transmitter, easy installation without system shutdown, very low pressure drop, disadvantages of anubar flow meters, not suitable for viscous and slurry application, used only for clean fluids. Rotameter, this is also known as variable area flow meter, they are one of the widely used common flow meter types, it consists of a vertical glass or plastic tube, the size of the tube varies from top to bottom because of which it got its name as variable area flow meters. Inside the tube, there is a free moving metering float. This is balanced inside a vertical tapered tube. As the fluid flows upward, the float remains steady when the dynamic forces acting on it are zero. The flow rate is indicated by the position of the float relative to a calibrated scale. Advantages of rotameters. A simple, robust and linear output. It does not require external impulse or lead lines. The pressure drop is minimal and fairly constant. Disadvantages of rotameters. The metal tube meters are more expensive. Glass tubes are eroded by undissolved solids, 
and unsuitable for metering alkaline solution. Use for vertical installation only, and foreign particles can accumulate around the float and block the flow. Magnetic flow meters. These flow meters operates on Faraday's law of magnetic induction. When a conductive fluid moves in a magnetic field, a voltage is generated between two electrodes at right angle to the fluid velocity and field orientation. The flow tube has a fixed area and field intensity, so the developed voltage is linearly proportional to the volumetric flow rates. Advantages of magnetic flow meters. Highly accurate due to absence of moving parts, external sensing lines. The flow rates are unaffected by fluid density, consistency, viscosity, turbulence or piping configuration. Wide flow measuring ranges, and no pressure drop. Disadvantages of magnetic flow meters. It is very costly relative to other flow meter types. The temperature of the fluid being metered, is limited by the liner material rating. They cannot be used for gas flow measurement. Vortex flow meters. They are among the most versatile, as they can measure liquids, steam and gases with relative ease. An obstruction is placed across the pipe bore at right angle to fluid flow. As fluid flows, vortices are shed from alternating sides of the body, and this shedding frequency is directly proportional to fluid velocity. Detection of the vortices by means of pressure changes. Advantages of vortex flow meters. Minimal maintenance, no moving parts. Calibration using fluid flow not required. Unaffected by viscosity, density, pressure and temperature within operating specification. Disadvantages of vortex flow meters. Vibration can cause errors in accuracy. At low flows, pulses are not generated, and the flow meter can read low or even zero. Correct installation is critical, as a protruding gasket or weld beads can cause vortices to form, leading to inaccuracy. Ultrasonic flow meters, they are commonly applied to measure the velocity of liquid, that allows ultrasonic waves to pass such as, water, molten sulfur, cryogenic liquids and chemical. A pair of transducers, each having its own transmitter and receiver, are placed on the pipe well. One set on the upstream and the other set on the downstream. The time for acoustic waves, to travel from the upstream transducer to the downstream transducer, is shorter than the time, it requires for the same waves to travel from the downstream to the upstream. The larger the difference, the higher the flow velocity. Advantages of ultrasonic flow meters, can be used in corrosive fluid flow, have higher accuracy for wider ranges of Reynolds number, portable models available for field analysis and design. Disadvantages of ultrasonic flow meters, only clean liquids and gases can be measured, higher initial setup cost, Turbine flow meters, this measure the velocity of liquids, gases and vapors in pipe, such as hydrocarbons, chemical, water, cryogenic liquids, air and industrial gases. Consist of a multi-bladed rotor, mounted at right angles to the flow, and suspended in the fluid stream on a free-running bearing. The diameter of the rotor, is slightly less than the inside diameter of the flow metering. Speed of rotation of rotor is proportional to the volumetric flow rate. Advantages of turbine flow meters very accurate, commonly used to power other metals. Digital output, provides for direct totalizing, batching or digital blending without reducing accuracy. There is less tendency to read high impulse flow than in head or variable area type meters. Disadvantages of turbine flow meters, not usable in dirty streams or with corrosive materials. It can be damaged by overspeeding or by hydraulic shock, bearing subject to wear or damage. Positive displacement flow meters. This meter repeatedly entraps the fluid into a known quantity, and then passes it. The quantity of the fluid that has passed, is based on the number of entrapment. The volume flow rate, can be calculated from the revolution rate of the mechanical device. Advantages of positive displacement flow meters, can be used in viscous liquid flow. Good accuracy and high range ability. Low to medium initial setup cost. Disadvantages of positive displacement flow meters. Maintenance required at frequent intervals because of moving parts. Not suitable for low flow rate and for fluids with suspended solids. Gas, bubbles, in liquid, could significantly decrease the accuracy. Coriolis mass flow meter. When a moving mass is subjected to an oscillation perpendicular to its direction of movement, Coriolis force occurs depending on the mass flow when the tube is moving upward, during the first half of a cycle. The fluid flowing into the meter, 
Resist being forced up by pushing down on the tubes on the opposite side. The liquid flowing out of the meter. Resist having its vertical motion decreased by pushing up on the tube. This action causes the tube to twist. This twisting movement is sensed by a pickup and is directly related to the mass flow rate. Advantages of Coriolis mass flow meters. Capable of measuring difficult handling fluids. Independent of density changes, flow profile and flow turbulence. Hence, straight length are not required. No routine maintenance required since no moving parts. Disadvantages of Coriolis mass flow meters. Not available for large pipe. High flow velocities required for detection resulting in high pressure drop. Difficulty in measuring low pressure gases. Thermal mass flow meters operates by monitoring the cooling effect of a gas stream as it passes over a heated transducers. Gas flow passes over two transducers. The temperature transducer monitors the actual gas process temperature, whilst the self-heated transducers is maintained at a constant differential temperature by varying the current through it. The greater the mass flow passing over the heated transducers, the greater the current required. To keep a constant differential temperature, the measured heated current is therefore a measure of the gas mass flow rate. Advantages of thermal mass flow meters. No temperature or pressure compensation required can be used on corrosive process stream if proper material are specified. DC voltage or 4 to 20 mA output available. Disadvantages of thermal mass flow meter. Practical for gas flows only. Power requirements excessive in large pipe sizes. Accurate field calibration is difficult. It is used in chemical industry. Use in paper and mining industry. Use in pharmaceutical and water treatment. Use in HVAC. In oil and gas field. They are used in liquid chemical and pharmaceuticals. Use in steam measurements. Use in flow of liquid suspension. Custody transfer of natural gas metering. General water application. Detection of sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide in greenhouse gas emission. Measurements of the air to fuel ratio in boilers and steam generators. Monitoring of gas flares in natural gas and biogas plants. Testing of gas valves and pressure regulator for leaks. Measurements of compressed airflow in industrial application. 